Hey everyone, I'm Mandy the Handmade Homeschooler and if it's your first time here, welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you guys will get all the updates for when I make new videos. And I am doing a video that people have been requesting for quite a few weeks now. We switched from the Becca to Masterbooks, as most of you know if you've seen my older videos. And we switched to um, Language Lessons for a Living Education for Language Arts for my youngest who is eight, almost nine, and he's kind of halfway in between grades. You know when you've been homeschooling so long that you're not sure what grade your kid is anymore? That's kind of where we're at with him. So he's a little bit more on the advanced side, so I throw extra things in just to give him a little bit of a challenge, but our main core language arts program is Masterbooks. Masterbooks has everything from writing and reading and, and grammar to picture study and all kinds of nice Charlotte Mason things inside. Just today, we memorized a poem. So I'm gonna give you guys a nice comprehensive overview of what's inside, what you can expect, and how to really figure out where your child should be. So coming from a Becca, if you are coming from a Becca, a word to the wise, a Becca seems to run on its own schedule. <laughs> so with that said, and having a child who is a little bit more advanced in the reading area, especially, um, I, he was in grade two, a Becca. I ended, he ended up landing at grade four language lessons. Now, your child may not, and if they don't, that doesn't mean that something is wrong with them or that they're behind. That just means that that's where their individual level is. And with homeschool, everybody's going to be in a different spot. So just because my child lands at grade four and your child lands at grade three does not mean that there is something wrong with either one of those children. So understand that. They have placement tests online for you. And what was really, really great was Masterbooks actually puts the syllabus on there as well so I was able to kind of go through and see exactly what all the points were hitting and I had a feeling and I couldn't tell because we didn't have a convention near us for me to actually look at this before I bought it but Masterbooks makes these at such an affordable price that I had no guilt buying three even if we couldn't use it so I went ahead and I purchased three because I really wanted to flip through because language arts is one of those things that you don't want to skip ahead if your child is not ready because they could miss out on some type of lesson that they really need you know whether that's punctuation or that's something with phonetic patterns you don't want to skip that so with that said i made sure that i picked up this one and really thumbed through it now he knew all of the information in here which is fine so i went ahead and i purchased grade four now grade four was more on his level and um, the spelling words and vocabulary words were a little bit more advanced. So I knew that that's probably where he would land anyway. And as soon as he got this book, he was so interested in it because it has all kinds of cool puzzles and Sudokus and things in there. He just had a blast flipping through this. So with either one of these, and I believe that they are making five here really soon, which is good because we're gonna need that um, probably late next year. You're going to want to purchase this book with it. I think this was like 10 or $11. So we're talking maybe 45 with shipping and I got both of these, which is so affordable compared to most language arts curriculum. So let's just get that right out of the way. The price on this is unbeatable. Um, and you're gonna get everything, everything from spelling and vocabulary to writing and picture study. It's all in here. So, Let's go ahead and flip the camera around and I will show you guys an inside view of everything that's in here. Okay, so when you flip it open, you're going to see that there is a scope and sequence in here. And they're going to just give you a really great overview all for all the lessons here, which is great. I love scope and sequences. And then you're going to get all kinds of um, just really good information about the program itself and the course description and this is the only required course material okay if you want to add whatever you want you can okay we add read alouds and i add extra spelling and vocabulary just to keep things a little bit interesting but really it's not needed everything in here is what your child is going to need so you have a note from the author and you have information about the course 
and here are all the things you need to know in the teaching help area okay so this part is really really helpful for you as a teacher and then it's going to show you all of the fun things that you're going to be doing throughout the year so I have the pages ripped out here because if you've seen my notebook um, videos then you know that I take out the um, the lesson plans and I stick those inside of my notebook so this is actually where the lesson plans would go and this is where we are right now we're actually in week four so this will start week five right here and you'll see that week five exercise one day 21 so no matter if you follow weeks or if you follow days it's all in here so one would be Monday two would be Tuesday uh, so for day one so let's say Monday of next week we will be reading this story and then I'll be asking him you know like Charlotte Mason narration is right here so we're gonna be asking questions and talking about the reading and then he has some memorization, some sight words, and sequencing. So he will do this page back in front for Monday. And then this day two will be Tuesday. And he will be doing the back and writing sentences. And then day three, day four, and day five. Now these repeat, so day four and day five. Day four, he will be getting out this 101 Favorite Bible Stories. I love this book. The pictures in here are really, really, really nice. Um, I haven't found any master book, uh, produced book that I just, I haven't fallen in love with yet. So this is really, really good quality. So he's gonna read one of the stories. He's gonna copy a Bible verse out of his Bible. And then he's going to recreate the picture that is on that page like this. And then he will be copying the caption. So he does this every Thursday. So the Thursdays are pretty much the same. And then Fridays are or day five will also be it's they have phonics and spelling right here. So he's going to be learning uh, phonetic patterns here and he's going to be working on these and he does this every Friday and he does the back and he has to make his own and then here is a picture study. So this would be week six. And then it just continues, guys. So here's another picture study. He loves puzzles, so I'm so thankful that Masterbooks puts puzzles in here because that really keeps his attention. And so here's kind of the middle of the book so you guys can see. Let's see, let's go to the middle. So day 100. So you guys can kind of see the spelling words for day 100. So we're still having spelling, kind of like the little suitcase one, but now it's evolved into this. So we're going to have a different type, but we still have the great picture um, and the 101 stories from the Bible. We're still doing that on Thursdays, but they are stepping it up in the middle of the curriculum for spelling. And he's still gonna be reading. And now let's kind of flip to the back so you can see how this goes so here is day 179 okay so you can see this is the 101 stories he's going to be doing that synonyms and antonyms here and spelling review so you guys can kind of see just what it looks like here and i love that everything is in such great color now that there are answers, of course, in the back and there are teaching aids in the back that really help you um, for whatever you would need. They give you great ideas for different things. So that's what the back of this looks like right now. So you guys can kind of see what this looks like as a whole. Now, a few other things that have helped us with the insides of the book, uh, after you've seen the inside, I kind of want to give you guys an idea of some things that will also help. We have a rolling whiteboard. We don't have a homeschool room, but I do have a whiteboard in my house and I take that out. And what I do is I, um, whenever we come to a new, um, some type of new concept, especially something that he has not seen before. And if it has to do with writing sentences, punctuation, grammar, anything like that, I will take my whiteboard and I will write out some sentences that have to do with that. And I will have him 
correct sentences for practice and I will show it to him in an example. And that really helps expand upon the ideas that are given in here. Make this work for you. You don't have to do just what's in here. You guys can really take this out if, you're, if you have a student who's struggling, take out a whiteboard or take out a piece of paper and just write out the sentence on that piece of paper. Have him underline his nouns and his adjectives or have her circle the, um, the prepositional phrase. Think outside the box a little bit and give your students some ideas to help them put these ideas in practice. Just because the lesson is over, if they're still struggling, those are some ideas that might help you. Now, I have had a lot of parents ask me about the books that we're reading with this because this is a language arts curriculum. I wanna make sure that he's reading a whole lot. So they have some suggestions in the back of this book and on masterbooks.com. Masterbooks does not recommend any books that they do not personally sell or have not personally um, looked over yet, which I totally get. And as a mom, I appreciate that because I will know ahead of time, like, hey, I should probably check this book out first. So you guys know how I like to go ahead and look at books before and pre-screen all of my kids' books. So I made a list this summer and I've been reading through them, as you know, and we are reading all kinds of content right now. So right now we are reading all about Christopher Columbus and George Washington with the Who Was books. And we are also reading the Boxcar Children. And this is only the fourth week of school and I think we've gone through about two or three books now. So I have a whole list of books that I have gone through. And really what I do with this is I take a look at whatever they're learning. I look at his level of comprehension because that is important. And I look at the content of the books, of course. Now, he is doing America's Story 1, so a lot of times I will pick out books that we are reading about whatever subject in America's Story. So right now we're reading about Christopher Columbus and we're about to go into George Washington. So I made sure I picked up two books, one on George Washington and one on Christopher Columbus. And we're reading those two books together as read alouds and one for him to read as an independent reader. At all times, he is reading one independent reader and we are reading a read aloud together. So he's getting lots and lots and lots of, of reading through living books. And I highly recommend living books if you can get them, although we do read some regular fiction books. So I hope that that gives you guys some ideas and I will be posting book reviews on here. I have a whole playlist of book reviews so you guys can go check that out if you'd like to and make sure that you definitely check out any type of content for your books before you give them to your kids, of course. So I hope that that gives you guys some ideas of how you can use language lessons for a living education for your homeschool and make it work for your family. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will try to answer them the best I can or find the answer for you. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.